Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with the brand new release, the brand new 2020 Topps Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition. Uh, break number two, random player break number two. We sell 15 spots, everyone gets seven players from that big list below right here. You can check it out on our website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got another break up. We've got a few sold out, but we've got another one on the site right now if you missed out. All right, let's copy these names right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And there's the whole list of players right there. Should be 105 items on each list. Let's randomize that 11 times. One, two, And 11th and final time. After 11, we've got Matt Medlin all the way down to Matt. And then once again, 11 times for the players. And 11th and final time. Good luck. So after 11 times, we got Bernie Williams all the way down to Eric Chavez. All right, so I'm just going to show you the list as is. And then I will alphabetize by your first names. But I just want to get this on wax, get this on tape. There you go. All right, so let's sort by column A by your first names. So Adam Richards, there are your block of players right there. Darren Redding, Dennis, Francis, Jeremy, Joe, Josh, Kyle. I know Matt has a bunch of players here. There you go, Matt. Matthew, Sam. Oh, and Sam. There you go. Um, any trades? Anyone want to trade players? And remember, here is the. Remember, I marked that with the with the sharpie right there, so you know they're all from the same case. No, no trades. Trade window going. Or anyone else need to see their their players again before I start? All right, no, looks like no. So trade window closed, unless P unless everyone's lagging behind. I don't think they are. TWC, trade window closed, let's flip screens. I'm actually gonna alphabetize this again by player name so I can hunt for these names a little more quickly and easily, there we go. All right, so retired players, one encased per box. We did not see any train whistles in the first half. Now, traditionally, in all series of archives in your series, there's usually at least one or two per case, if not more. All right. There's Jerry Remy. Eight out of 99. Red Sox second baseman. I guess he was an angel, too, back in the 70s. I have no Jerry Remy stories. <laughs> Joe M. with Jerry Remy. Teddy, do you have a Jerry Remy story? Yeah, he, he, he was like trying to play his <laughs> was he really? Did, you get, did, you get, did everyone hear that? When, when he was a broadcaster? Yeah, he's broke many years, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So Teddy has a story. He's Ted saying that uh, he was playing guitar in the broadcasting booth, and then he fell over. There you go. Apparently Brad's saying Bronson Arroyo has his own band. He's, he's in this set, too. We might be able to find him. Is any good? We've got Sean Casey. Seven out of 11. I think he does a lot of work with MLB Network now. All right, so Joe M. had the Jerry Remy. Sean Casey will go to Matt. All right. Next player is Dave Stewart. 
Rangers, Dave Stewart. 35 out of 74. Yeah, he was with the Dodgers for a minute or two. He, did he go to the... Oh, yeah, he was with the Dodgers in the early 80s, 70s, 80s, then went to the Rangers, and then after, a few years after that, that's when he went to the A's. I only remember A's, Dave Stewart. He became a uh, sports agent. I think he was an agent to a lot of players for a while. Might have been Matt Kemp's agent. Among other, among other players. Yeah, did he coach too? Maybe he did some coaching too. All right, there's Sandy Alomar. 11 out of 14. Good popular catcher right there. And that's uh, Indians edition. That's how I remember Sandy Alomar. Uh, Sandy Alomar, Dennis, sorry. And uh, Dave Stewart goes to Josh Pruce. There you go. So Josh with Dave Stewart and the Sandy Almar that we just pulled will go to Dennis. There's a video of him falling? Playing air guitar, uh, we got, uh, playing air guitar, I got you. All right, we got to look that up. Is he still with us? I guess he signed for this set, so. Yeah, he's still with us. There's Gorman Thomas, 32 out of 38 for the Brewers. I have no Gorman Thomas stories. The old outfielder from uh, for Milwaukee, from Charleston. Drafted by the old Pilots team in the late 60s. Teddy? I don't know too much about Gorman Thomas. No, no Gorman Thomas stories. All right. Uh, Kyle with Gorman Thomas. Kyle Cook. He's got a nice autograph. All right. Next up is Jim Rice. There you go. There's his facsimile autograph right there, and then his actual autograph in blue right down there. Kind of hard to see. Jim Rice signing, I guess, where he's supposed to sign, but that's a, kind of a dark dugout area there. Sort of hard to see. 13 out of 15. For Jim Rice. Pretty pretty great Red Sox player going to Matt Medlin. Alright, next one. We've got Own the Game. Andrew Jones. Nice. 25 out of 25. Old Andrew Jones. He was really good. Braves edition was really good. There were no other editions of Andrew Jones. Only Braves edition. Kyle with the Andrew Jones. Kyle Cook. He never played for any other team. All right. Next one is Miguel Tejada. Six out of nine. Nice. It's pretty cool from an old Bowman set. A's had a really strong team. That Miguel Tejada, Eric Chavez kind of Giambi sort of era. Miguel Tejada goes to Matt Medlin. All right, a couple more autographs to go. Getting some low-numbered stuff, but not quite train whistle level, out of fives and under. We have a red. We got Bronson Arroyo, 55 out of 88. Bronson Arroyo, Brad L. was telling us earlier, has his own band. What does he play? What does he do? I think old Dodgers reliever Scott Radinsky had a punk band in Orange County. Bronson Arroyo, currently 43 years old. Music. He has got a music section in his Wikipedia. 
debut album in 2005 called Covering the Bases. <laughs> All right. There you go, Bronson Arroyo. It's kind of cheesy. Included covers from bands such as Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Stone Temple Pilots, Foo Fighters, and Incubus. The album also includes the Red Sox victory song, Dirty Water, by the Standel Standels, in which Arroyo is accompanied by Johnny Damon, Lenny DiNardo, and Kevin Euclid. He also taught Kevin Millar how to play guitar and perform vocals for the song Tessie, as covered by the Dropkick Murphys. 2008 commercials for JTM Food Group featuring a music video by Arroyo. Wow. Arroyo appears as a vocalist on the song Since You on Chad Peroni's album, Wake. Not familiar with that person. Made his public debut on stage in January 2004. Hot Stove Cool Music. This is all Bronson Arroyo right here. Hot Stove Cool Music. Hot Stove Cool Music fundraiser at the Paradise Rock Club in Boston. Performed with teammate Kevin Millar. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. It doesn't go beyond 2004, ladies, or 2008 on that timeline. So I have no idea what he's doing with music now. But that's what he's doing at the moment. So Bronson Arroyo, rock star, going to Adam Richards. There you go, Adam. We spoke it into existence. Thanks, Brad. And he's still he's still getting paid like Bonilla, huh? Even though he's retired. Good for him. And the last one is Al Oliver. 18 out of 37. 1969 Rookie Stars card. I don't know if Al Oliver is doing any music these days. Darren Redding with Al Oliver. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2020 Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition. We've got a case in the books. More sold out and more coming up. As of November 2019, Ryan Harold is saying, Arroyo's still touring in Ohio. Good job, Bronson. Good job. All right. Good job to you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. More coming up. I'm Joe. I'll see you for the next one next time. Bye-bye.